Hey guys, welcome to Quinn's Tree Farm. Coming to you straight through the power of YouTube, right from Cornville, Maine. Today is hopefully one of the final days of planting the three two bracted balsam firs that we had from Downey's Tree Farm. It's wicked windy out. As per the usual, every day that I wanna film, it's just absolutely brutal out here, which is gonna give us a few headaches, but we'll uh, just make sure that the rootstock stays in the buckets and is uh, kept wet until we can get them into the ground. We're in the north field today and I want to show you my updated measuring plot plan and how I'm going about setting the trees into the ground. And then we'll try to get some trees into the ground and get ready for what's to come next which is going to be the transplant bed. I'm going up to Finest Kind in Dover Foxcroft next week to get my thousand three O's that are going into the transplant bed. We got some grass seed to plant over at the house so we can have a tree field there ready to go in 2022. Yeah, I got a couple of other ideas that we're gonna get to in the next couple of videos. So stick around and we'll get to work. Okay, so the first thing I did is I just went to tractor supply and I got some paracord here.
Alright, so the wind was pretty brutal, and no matter what I did, it uh, was impossible to record the narrative, so I thought that I'd try something new and give you a play-by-play -play while the video was watching. So what we're doing here is measuring out 5 feet on my paracord that we got. I have a mark there on the 2x4 that I used, and then I took a magic marker to mark every 5 feet. I thought this was going to be a easy idea, an easy idea to take care of that, and I quickly gave up. Now here I am tying a double fisherman knot. This is a knot that I learned in the fire service to attach two pieces of rope together of the same size. Basically it's just an overhand knot on each side that's uh, tying to the other piece of string, and when you pull them together it makes a knot that's going to tighten on itself as you pull. I quickly gave up on the magic marker and went back to my idea of tying knots. So I'm doing the same thing where I measure out five feet and then I'm just tying a simple knot into the rope and when I pull it tight, it kind of tightens on that loop there and then I have every five feet. This seemed to work out quite well in the field as we're gonna see as we go down the road. One of the things I hate about this paracord is that no matter what I do, it always seems to tie up into knots and gets all tangled up even when I pull it out of the bundle brand new. And I swear a lot when using this and if I'm doing something wrong and someone can tell me what I'm doing wrong, I would love to hear it in the comments. I will say however that it shouldn't take a special trick to take paracord out of a bundle and not have it get all tangled up. Well, I grabbed a couple of two foot grade stakes and I'm just drilling a quarter inch hole in them. What we'll end up doing is taking these and pounding them into the ground in the field and then the string will run in a row from one end to the other. This just saves me the step of not having to lay out the tape measure down the rows when I'm planting. And it's also going to make it easier for me when I am planting the trees because I found that when I put the tape measure down, I was always going to one side or the other, so my rows weren't actually seven feet wide as I had intended. And there we found the other end. And we're going to do the other side. I just take my measuring tape and I run seven feet. The mistake that's already there, that's my old string. Give it the old heave ho. I'll just take the string down to the other side. And what do you know, the paracord got tied up in a knot. A big knot. Really big knot. Still untangling the knot. 
Feel free to take a nap. Oh, there we go. And we're just gonna run around to the other side. And typically I just tuck, I'm lucky because the old trees are fairly close to the line, so I just tuck them under the branches if I haven't had them basil tuned already. There we have it. 1,032 transplants from Sherbrooke, Quebec, down to Cornville, Maine. There's a lot of hard work, and this video was a culmination of two weeks of planting and prepping and working and sleeping and going to my other jobs and rain and wind and. I don't think we had any snow though, but they're in the ground and I'm happy. But even if I wasn't happy, you know the drill, because I'd really rather feel bad in Maine than feel good anywhere else. So there I go, my friends, I'll see you soon. Works never stop. I'll catch you on the next video.